welcome back everybody to the Room 2 PC version. Another chapter lies ahead of us, and where the hell are we now? Oh, and by the way, you should be able to see my mouse cursor this time, unlike last time. Apologies for that. I think it really does help being able to see the mouse cursor, especially when you're watching a video on this game, and games like it. So, uh, yeah, that should be cleared up now. Okay. Are we at sea? I think we're at sea. <laughs> or there's, there's waves just outside. Maybe we're on the coast. Actually, it does look like the inside of a ship, doesn't it? Okay. This feels slightly different than the last chapter, honestly. It's like the control scheme's changed. Or like we've been given a body. Yeah, it's like we're in first person. And I'm, I'm aware that we were in first person last time. But yeah, it feels like I'm playing Scratches of Darkness Within now. It's kind of hard to explain. Is that a cannon? I think so. <laughs> anyway, speaking of ships, there's one right ahead of us, so let's take a look at that. Or, rather, let's take a look at the note to the side of it to start with. Okay, there is still no sign, and my patience wears thin. In my frustration, I even scaled the foremast myself. A fool's errand. The fog is so dense I can barely see my own deck from the crow's nest, let alone the Helena. Regardless, I have had the gun deck run out the cannons in readiness. It is good to keep the men sharp. Okay, so foremast, crow's nest, cannons... And there's a ship right next door. I think we're going to have a look at those areas in a moment. Before that, though... Okay. Nothing... nothing secret, nothing hidden. Alright. It's a perfectly normal note, it seems. Or... <laughs> whatever you consider normal in this reality, in this dimension. Not from AS, either. Okay. So then, uh, what was it? Foremast, crow's nest, cannons. So, crow's nest, I assume? That, that would be the foremast, right? This one here? And we got cannons as well. Okay. So let's just sort of start double-clicking stuff. Oh, here we go, here we go. Right. I'm not sure if this is the foremast or the crow's nest, but yeah, it seems that that was a clue. And the game is insulting me by offering me hints already. I am not stuck. Not yet. And it looks like we can turn this around, it seems. Hang on. Oh, hang on. What's this? Some rope. Okay. Have we got something similar on the bottom? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Haha. <laughs> okay. And that reveals... A small golden key. Okay. Now let's take a look at this small golden key. Can I manipulate this in any way? Anything strange about it? It's got a nice handle, I have to say. I like this key. Uh, I can't pull these off and I can't extend it or anything. Can't twist anything around. Just out of interest, I don't know if I tried this last time. And I don't know if it worked in the room one. But if we equip the lens and we look at something... Okay, we don't look at it through the lens, so we just take the lens away. Never mind, never mind. Okay. Right. So, that was either the foremast or the crow's nest. The cannons are down there. And we can have a look at the cannons. And it looks like the cannons can move. Yeah, they move. They move. Oh, so just like in the note, I think we're getting them ready. Setting them all up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> in position. Oh, this is great. Hey, this is better than great. Is that where the key goes? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, fantastic. Oh, wow. Oh, hey. We're going to have a look at the inner workings of this. Right. Yes. All the cogs and chains and stuff. And... Is that a... Yeah, that's an object. That's a key. A strange-shaped key. Okay. Just like the other one. Let's examine it. Uh, it's got a Triforce symbol on it. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. It is a strange-shaped key. Very odd. Okay, I can't twist that bit around. That's on both sides. I don't know if that's important. Okay. Right. What else have we got? Uh, hang on. What's this? Hey! Oh, this is a note from AS. Okay. Hidden it inside a ship. A mountain, a moor, a palace, a slum. Why not the quarters of a galleon in full sail? With each dizzying step, I am whisked around the globe as simply as turning a corner. Will you be following my path, or forging one anew? What sights you must have witnessed, if my own experience is any guide. I'll keep leaving notes and I urge you to do the same, that we might know if our paths have crossed. Thrilling as this is, there is something not quite right with this place, though I struggle to define what, some earthy tang of reality that is quite missing. I sometimes fancy I can smell the lime and grease paint. Okay. No game, I do not need a hint. Not yet, not yet. Alright, good to know. There's some little boxes down here as well. This is pretty goddamn good, isn't it? Okay. No, 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 let's go back inside. Can I use any of this stuff? There's another cannon there! We don't have to move that up to the deck or anything. There's a little chest or something down there. 
This. Hey, we can. What did that say? Looks like one gem is missing. It looks like I can move this along. The gem's over here, and I can move this along. So we need to find a gem and slide it across. Where are we going? Was this here before? It wasn't lit up before, at the very least. I'm not that stupid, am I? <laughs> I don't remember seeing this. Right, we have a chest. We have a chest. Where do I start with this? It's kind of intimidating, honestly. Okay, uh, let's start with the book that seems to be on the floor. Can we read from it? We can. It's been 30 weeks at sea and the crew grow restless at our lack of plunder. Though I would not betray it, I share those concerns. A privateer's license is no small investment, and my investors will not be happy without a return. According to the prisoners we took off the San Esposito, we should find the Santa Helena in these waters, fresh out of New Granada. They were simple swabs, ignorant of all, save the workings of the decks, but they spoke of some artifact of great value aboard. I gave them a place among my crew. Alright, so you're searching for an artifact as well. Interesting. No notification as to who that is. Huh, okay. I guess that's that. Right. No, no, in fact, you know what, I might have to turn off hints. Although, the moment I do is probably the moment I'll need them, so... <laughs> Let's just keep them on for the time being. Anyway, there's nothing strange about this book. What about the chest itself? Uh, possibly. Yes, yes, there's something down here. It's that symbol again. The symbol that's on the end of this key. Is this perhaps where we use the key? No? Strange. Perhaps this is protecting the keyhole where we use the key, or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Okay. It's like a handle or something. Can we use that? No? Oh, we can go 360 around this, it looks like. Okay. Nothing unusual about it. Can we use the cannonballs at all? <laughs> no. There's a handle this side. Hey, a handle we can actually use. Yeah? Ooh. Ooh. What have I found? <laughs> I'm in love with this game, if you haven't realised. A strange cylinder. Right. Yeah? Alright, this is why I examine objects, because of shit like this. What is going on? What is this? It's apparently still a strange cylinder. Is it a key or something? Something like that, possibly. I'm collecting keys at the moment, it seems. Okay. Uh, nothing else in there? Doesn't look like it. Can't interact with anything else? Okay, let's zoom out. Hang on! Even... even this at the back? What? Okay, it's not, it's not just the chest. There's a lot of details here. Hang on, what am I revealing? What's behind there? It's like a little door. It is a door. Is that another key? I think I've got three keys now. Presumably one of them is going to open the chest. And again, that symbol at the back. Uh, it's been twisted around a little bit. And what's this? I... I can't actually examine that. So I guess I'm not going to be finding anything to put in that slot. Okay, hang on, let's just back out of this. Let's take a look at the this post. Didn't really have a look at that before, because I was just looking at the chest. Nothing hidden in the darkness? I guess not, okay. Right, so let's take a look at this. This looks kind of intimidating, honestly, though. Can we do anything with this? Yes, we can. Let's move it aside. What's the deal with these symbols, honestly? Is that a keyhole? The keyhole's shape doesn't match the key. Right, okay, so what's what's the shape? So it's, yeah, okay. It's like a house with, like, thorns on the side or something, sure. Rather, and this one's like a plane. So we'd have to spin these around, I see. Uh, okay. Oh, and these things. Oh! Oh, I think I'm starting to get it now. Yeah, that's why we've been seeing these symbols. That's a clue as to as to where these where these all go. Ah, there you are. There you go. That's it. That's got to be it. Yes. Okay. Brilliant. Oh, and now we can actually get the chest open. Oh bloody hell! <laughs> I was hoping to find some plunder or something. Not more mechanisms, right? Right. Actually, this stuff. 
This stuff I don't think we've seen since the first game. This, I think, is the null element. And if we use the lens, we can see through it. And sometimes you can manipulate objects behind it. It's weird. It's hard to sort of classify. It doesn't really have a place in our reality. It can't really be explained. Alright. I'm spinning that around. What? <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at this one as well, I suppose. Can we have a look inside? Yes. And that moves across. Oh, and that can go down. So that slides down and... Okay. <laughs> okay. What's this? Ho hopefully you guys are keeping up. Uh, I don't think I am, in a way. I'm just sort of going through the motions at this point and getting through it. Oh yeah, of course another one reveals itself. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh yes, so we push these in this time, do we? Right. Only one more to go. Uh, we're missing one. Oh, hang on. There's one there, I think. Yeah. We just had to reveal it. And that is... Ah! Oh, we do it manually this time, it seems. No? Oh, we can slide this round. Oh, and they go in the slots. I see. Okay. And that one goes away. Revealing. Oh, I know what this is for. That's that, isn't it? Yes! Alright, let's give this a spin. <laughs> okay. What, is a lid within a lid? Within a chest. What? This is fucking fantastic. This is... It feels more complex than what we dealt with in the room one, really. It didn't take long for us to track her down. We raced north for two miles on the deep sea currents to overhaul her head start. Approaching the mainland, we turned west for two miles to cut her off at the coast. With no sign, we headed three miles back south to meet her. We sighted her, sure enough, but she kept through the cape before we could intercept. Now we must wait for the tide. Okay. And that looks pretty normal. In fact, everything here looks pretty normal. Look at all this stuff. Are we done with that? I suppose that was the inner workings of the, uh, the last lid, right? Okay. Oh, hang on. Can we move this? So what did it say? We raced north for two miles, and then we went west for two miles. I presume each of, each of these are like a mile long. Uh, and then three miles south, so... Over there? Yeah. So two miles, and then west for two. One, two. And then one, two, three? Yeah? Okay. No, no hint button, don't tempt me. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah? Ah, uh, possibly? <laughs> What's this? It's changed. Even the elements turn against us. Okay, passage through the cape took us four miles west, and we soon sighted her masts four miles to the north of us. Seeing us in pursuit, she cut west two miles into a fog bank. With her heavy ballast, we would easily overhaul her. If only this accursed fog should lift. And there's a keyhole here as well. Okay. It's not even a keyhole, it's just an indentation of a key. Oh no. Alright. Okay. Oh, and that's for the bottom. It, yeah, okay. So hang on, we need to move these, uh, move these along. I think. So... That would go there. That would go there. And then there. Alright, and that creates the hole. I do have a key. <laughs> this is just working out brilliantly for me. <laughs> oh Christ Oh Christ, so that that's the passage they were talking about. So hang on, so it was four miles west. One, two, three, four. And then four to the north. Four. And then two to the west. Into the fog bank. This is the fog, I guess so. Right? Is that right? I guess so, otherwise the piece wouldn't move. Yeah? Oh, and that changes again! Wait, let's look at it. Oh, actually. Whoa. What the hell was that? Well, I noticed it was made of this null element, so I had to have a look, but right, let's, let's read this to start with. We have her now. The fog lifted shortly before noon, and there she was, six miles to the south. Rapidly, we closed her down, and she fled east two miles back towards the Cape. Now she lies north of us by just one mile. She won't reach the Cape again. All right. 
Now let's put on the lens. So what are we doing here? Oh, we can actually have a look, a look inside. We're on board a ship. Okay. Oh, no way. No way! I'm actually at the helm. How is this even possible? I don't even know, but I'm loving it. This is like a game within a game. Right. Looks like I'm sort of heading for... Heading for land, I probably don't... Oh, hang on, wait. This is like a star and a compass, isn't it? Is this north or something? Wait, which way am I meant to be going? Or am I meant to just, like, line this up? I don't know. Shit, hang on. Hey! <laughs> Not bad, eh? I... And that gets rid of the fog. And now I can move around. This is fucking brilliant! Six miles to the south. And... It was... East two miles and then north. So, like that. Yeah? So we're sort of looping back on ourselves. Yeah, yeah, that's where the slot is. <laughs> this is... This is so complex. This is great! I love this game. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, oh right, I see. It's a painted figurehead. Oh, for the boat! Oh! For the ship, for the galleon, right! Oh. oh Alright. Are we done with the chest then? I suppose so. It doesn't go any deeper. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, that was the clue to the puzzle back there. Okay, I don't know if we've we've missed anything. Let's go back to the boat though. Over here. Yeah. So Can we have a look at this area? We can. I guess she goes on there, doesn't she? That's right! What's this? Okay, more inner workings, barrels. We got the, the ship's wheel! Right! Was that missing or something? I don't know. Okay, nothing else there. Doesn't seem to be. Um, sure, sure. So, where is that? Up there? Oh, that's right. Oh, it's missing, yeah. I didn't notice this before. Let's put it back. Yeah. Give it a turn, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to actually own a ship that's this complex in real life. I really would. All right. Oh, what? Oh, okay. That's... That sail. That main sail. Hang on. Let's forget about that for the time being. That main sail. It's made of the null element. Rose. What does that mean? Rose. And I'm wondering, is this is this Helena? Is this Saint Helena? Hang on. Can I can I pull pull this door back? I I don't know. Maybe the ship's name was on there or something. No, we can use this as well. So, what's this for? This is all happening so fast. Oh, I see. Is this where I put Rose in? I think it might be. There you go. There's the... Rosa? No. Rose, though. That works. And there's the other jewel. That's the one I'm looking for. Another gem. Right. Well, I know what to do with this. And that should fit in on the right side over there. And we slide that across to meet the other one. Right. Oh, we'll go in somewhere again. Again! This just appears out of nowhere! What on earth are we doing here? Right, uh, this chapter is going on and on. I didn't expect this. I thought I was going to do like a chapter of video like I did last time in the room one, but this just keeps going. Uh, I'm going to have to split this up into two or maybe three or four. I don't know. Thank you very much for watching part two of The Room 2 PC. Hope to see you back in part three, which should come out very soon. See you then. <laughs> the gem's over here, and I can move this along. So we need to find a gem and slide it across. Where are we going? Was this here before? I guess that's that. Right. No, no. In fact, you know what? I might have to turn off hints. Although, the moment I do is probably the moment I'll need them, so... <laughs> let's just keep them on for the time being. Yeah? Ooh. Ooh. What have I found? <laughs> I'm in love with this game, if you haven't realised. Hang on. Even... even this at the back? What? Okay, it's not, it's not just the chest. There's a lot of details here. And then, one, two, three. Yeah? 
Okay. No, no hint button. Don't tempt me. That will go there and then there. All right, and that creates the hole. I do have a key. <laughs> this is just working out brilliantly for me. Oh, and that changes again. Wait, right, let's look at it. Oh, actually. Whoa. What the hell was that? 